you. Thank you, and welcome to a big afternoon and uh, wonderful training again. Um, I am very, very honored uh, to be here with you. Ni uh, hao. And, um, you know, it's, it's just a, an amazing city and an amazing weekend. Um, let me share a little bit about the foundation and why it should matter to you. Uh, the World Ventures Foundation was created to allow you the opportunity to travel the world and make a difference. And just like we did this weekend on Friday, yesterday, we made a difference in Singapore. It is our intention to always leave a city better than we found it. I don't know any other organization that thinks that way, that believes that that's an important mission in their organization. And we also do volunteers, and we do fundraising for our partners around the world. So we'll talk about that a little bit in a minute. But first, I, I want to talk about Journey to 100. Journey to 100 was inspired by the 10th anniversary. So when, if, who was at United? in Orlando. So we talked about that a lot there. It was a great, great weekend. And it was the intention to complete our 100th Echo Bottle School in Guatemala by the end of this year. And I have to tell you, because of this market, because of you here, we were able to fundraise to achieve that goal within 60 days. And you made it happen. You set the pace and you made it happen. So thank you, everybody that helped there. So for all those people who were um, able to fund a, a school and they were 19,000 US per school, we have an invitation to join uh, the World Ventures leadership in Guatemala in December this year to celebrate together this incredible goal achieved. And if anybody still would like to help us build more bottle schools, you're welcome to come talk to us at our booth, and we'd love to talk to you too. So let's talk about, you saw what we've done in 2015. I thank you for everybody that's been on the volunteer and helped us. They were extraordinary experiences, and um, I think it, changing the lives of children is a very worthy, worthy cause. So let's talk about what's coming up this year. So we have bottle schools in Guatemala. You're all always welcome to come join us there, but it is a long way. I just want you to know it's an important piece of what we do but we are looking to defi define and bring a similar program in this region so you can start participating. And our goal is to complete the identification of that before the year end. All right, so in Australia and Asia, here's our volunteer schedule. So Fiji, we're going to Fiji. This is available for booking on the dreamtrips.com or the app. We, I was there last week, we met the orphanage that you'll be working at, and the children, there's a lot of um, special needs children. The orphanage is in disrepair from Hurricane Winston, and you will be able to go there and make a difference. So please consider that one and bring your team. And then Bali, we go uh, often to Bali. Um, who's been to the Bali uh, volunteer? Yes, yeah, there's people to ask about it. It's a pretty extraordinary, the, the orphanage is amazing. Then we're going into Malaysia again. So who's been helping us in Malaysia so far? It's a little far to come maybe. But anyway, we're going back. We have, uh, this is in Kota Kinabalu. And then Beijing, we're going twice. And we're working with hands-on network there, doing projects near Beijing. And then, we have Shanghai and Shenzhen. So we believe these are uh, opportunities for you to experience what happens when you take a vacation with a purpose. 
and you make a difference in children's lives when you're visiting an area. So you get to see the culture, but most importantly, you get to build relationships with the children and organizations that we value and we think will make a difference in your life, not just the children's lives. So please take a look, please come join us. We'd love to have you. Um, now we have Blessed Homes. Who's been to Blessed Homes with us? There should be a lot of you. This will be our fifth visit there. Um, they, this is a wonderful place in Mesot, Thailand. And um, we go to Chiang Mai also, but the home is amazing. There's a young man there and he has 138 children he has rescued from the war in Myanmar. And they're, they're really an uh, extraordinary organization. And for those who know um, Dave and Yvette Uloa, who was a, if they know of them as trainers, I'm not sure they've been here, they probably have. They're leading the tour to Nepal. So you will have the opportunity to spend a week with two of the top trainers in the world on that volunteer. So we, we'd love to have you join you there. As far as I know, there's three rooms left. So if you're at all interested, please consider it. We're gonna, I'm going to go too, so we're gonna have an extraordinary week. Okay, so come see us at the booth, come talk about the volunteers. We'd love to have you join us. And now I'd like to talk about our newest member of the World Ventures Foundation, Yvonne Siu. Yvonne is headquartered here in Singapore. So she will be here to work with you directly on all things volunteer. And I'm going to ask you to bring, I'm bringing her onto stage, but I'm gonna ask you to give her a very warm welcome because it's, she's here to help serve you because it's so difficult for me to keep coming from all over the world here. And I want her to have the best, best time here. So please welcome Yvonne. Thank you, thank you, Gwyneth. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, and welcome to my country, Singapore. Please have a seat. In fact, it's been really quite an amazing journey, I mean, to join this really wonderful organization, and I've started since February this year. So, in fact, it's really the first time that I'm meeting most of you. So, before I go into, you know, all my introduction, I'd like to spend some time to get to know you, okay, if you don't mind? Okay, can I just maybe start by asking a couple of questions? Who has done some charity work in your life before? Can you raise up one hand? Some kind of charity work before. That's right. Okay, good. Now, if you have been given an opportunity, would you like to do more volunteering work? Can I have both hands? Look around you guys, look around how global an organization we are. Every one of you, I don't see any hands down. I don't see anybody telling me that they don't want to volunteer and make a difference in the kid's life. Okay, every one of you have such a big heart to serve. In fact, yesterday I was with uh, a couple of you going to Lighthouse, it's a special school for the hearing impact and visual impact. So a lot of you under the hot sun, humidity, sweaty condition, did so much work for the school. You know, you roll up your sleeves, you painted the place, you make it look really nice and shiny. And on Monday, when the kids go back to school, they are really going to feel that difference that you have made. And I want to honor a few of you, thank you. Michelle. Michelle was one of the volunteers, and when she came on board with us yesterday, she had a ear infection. She couldn't hear. 90% of her ear was swollen. But then I asked her, why are you here? You know, it's hot. Why don't you rest at home? So she just gave me that look, and that look told me everything. She's there to serve. Irregardless of the condition, the discomfort that she feels, it doesn't matter. Because whatever she did yesterday, morning did a lot of impact and it helped the children so michelle thank you 
So of course, there are so many, so many wonderful guys who did a lot more. So rather than me telling you, I'm going to show you the video. Enjoy. Video, please. Hi guys, my name is Angelo, coming to you from Singapore. Uh, this is two days before Momentum that's taking place this weekend. So it's a hot, humid day in Singapore. We have uh, 44 people who have actually given their time up on a Friday morning to come down and help uh, help up with the Lighthouse School in Singapore. And it's, uh, it's a school for impaired children uh, with hearing and uh, uh, seeing sort of uh, disabilities. And it's been, it's been fantastic, right? So I, I think more people, as much as it's a fun, travel, building the business, I think it's also very, very important to come and spend your time with these type of people who want to give back. So uh, yeah, as you can see, it's hot, humid, and hopefully by the next time that this comes around to Singapore, we, see, we hope to have a lot more of you here with us. So to all of those who volunteered, thank you very much, and hopefully for the guys who want to help us in the future, come and join us. Now I'd like to bring on stage Mr. Farik, who has actually been there with us to share his experience. Mr. Farik. Hello, Singapore. <laughs> so Farik, tell me, yesterday you really hated me, right? When I blindfolded you and asked you to walk down that very steep flight of stairs. What <laughs> is your feeling? The feeling was like, you know, it's, it's difficult because the thing is that we have eyes but the kids there do not have eyes to see. And the experience that I've, I've experienced, it's, it's very different. And it makes me more, how should I say it? It gives me more impact to all the kids out there. So if given a chance, what would you do? Would you come back with us again? Of course. So what is your advice to first-time volunteers who wants to join us? Okay, for those out there who wants to volunteer, do not put high expectation. All right, because she can be very nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Rainer uh, just told me that I'm such a slave driver. I work <laughs> him so hard. <laughs> All right, because if you come in without an expectation, you know, you just give with an open arms, you are giving back with your own heart feelings. So anyone out there, if you want to join us, open arms, let's make a living giving. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Farik. So moving forward, what I really want to do for the Asia Pac region is so to reach out to all our key priority markets and look for national charity organizations that can, we can work hand in hand with. So in Australia, for example, we are working with PCYC. They are an organization that's set up to help the children who are at risk. So they have 220 centers all around Australia and any of our members can really go to the center and says, yes, I want to help do something. So we're looking for such an organization in Singapore, Malaysia, Taiwan, Hong Kong, as well as Australia. And again, Raina Angelica has been so wonderful to volunteer. I'm going to bring more people to the Lighthouse to help out. So for those of you who are in Singapore on 2nd of April, please come and join her and Mr. Raina Sign up at the booth during the break, okay? So thank you very, very much for your wonderful time. And as you create the momentum for your business, personal life this weekend, please also create the momentum for volunteering. Thank you. So, um, and sadly, um, this beautiful woman can't be here today, sadly for us. For her, it's extraordinary because she is um, traveling, I think she's in Iceland, having an extraordinary experience there. But Anne has become both a generous donor and a remarkable partner for the foundation. And as I have been traveling the world, we have been recognizing a global volunteer of the year, and that was a young lady out of Greece. And then in Africa, Australia, and now here, we have Anne. So when she returns, 
she will have received this award, which is called our Joy Award, and it recognizes Anne for her generosity of time and treasure. So, um, you know, I'm sorry she's not here to receive it, but we're very happy. So just give a round of applause because she will see the video. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Anne. There, so we have a picture with me, a little odd, but there we go, you know. So I, I want to tell you um, a story, and, um, and I'd like to you know, kind of wrap it up with this. So when I first started in the nonprofit world, um, you know, I, I wasn't sure I could do this work of helping children globally. And this is before World Ventures invited me to help run the foundation. I was, um, you know, an English word is daunted by the scale of need in the world. And I couldn't grasp how to, how to get involved and make a difference. And then I heard the starfish story. So, you're in a, so this is, some of you may know this story, but it really helped make sense to me why every life matters. So on the beach, it could be a beach anywhere. It could be a beach, uh, you know, in Phuket. It could be a beach in Australia, Caribbean. All the starfish are stranded. Thousands of them are stranded on the beach. And the water's gone out, and the sun's beating down on them. And the little boy is walking along the beach, and he is putting, it depends who's telling the story, chucking, throwing, putting, but he's putting starfish by starfish in the water. And an adult with preconceived notions came along and said, why bother? It doesn't matter. You could never serve all these starfish. There's just too many. And the little boy looked up at the big adult and said, as he threw another one into the water, it mattered to that one. And I really want, I hope you can hear the, the power in this story. It mattered to that one. Because all that really matters in the work we do is the, is the child whose life is changed in ways we may never know. But because we took the time and we took the energy to put into their life a change, a simple change of environment or sharing or funds, that life could be the difference maker for their choices in the future. And you have the power through this amazing organization called World Ventures to be a powerful change in the world. I mean, we have this opportunity that is very rarely given to a group because of our size and scale. And I invite you to join us in whichever way you can and help us make a difference in the lives of children. So thank you for listening. Thank you for allowing us to share the stage with you. And I will see you on a volunteer. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.